to showcase Sunday where we'll be trying out uh, up to four games for about half an hour each uh, to see if they're any fun for streaming. Uh, we 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 do yeah, we do both game that games that I already know are likely to get streamed and just completely unknown ones to me like this one, Whispering Willows. So yeah, I know very little about this game other than, than well, it'll involve ghosts and uh, it's a two-day game. Beyond that, I know practically nothing about this other than that it looked pretty good. So Wait. let's start. Hmm? Were well, you meant to say 2D game? Yeah. I think you said meant... two-day game. <laughs> uh, today, a 2D <laughs> game. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. Uh, profile name, Elena, language, in oh, okay, that's quite a bit of languages available. Usually you only see like English uh, and French, uh, and it's been ages since I've seen a game that had uh, Dutch uh, voice acting and well, language available. Wait, that's uh, Deutsch is Dutch? No, that's German. All right, wait, where did you see Dutch then? No, not in this one. Uh, I was just oh. mentioning it because it is so freaking, it is so rare. Usually, the only games that have Dutch voice acting are the are games that are made here. Yeah, uh, um, actually, the only we one spoke I can think of that. Yeah, we, yeah, we spoke I think of I one of those a bit earlier. I believe. Yeah, I think uh, I have some games with Dutch voice acting. What the heck are we doing? <laughs> Interrupting each other. <laughs> but yeah, we had we had talked about one game that. Well, was from here, very obviously. The Crawled Cross of the Dutchman, which also does Dutch voices. We could do that if someday, as a, a short weekend thing. I know it is short. And just run it in Dutch and see how confused you get. <laughs> I probably understand some uh, words. Either way, uh, start the timer and let's start. Okay. Okay, someone got kidnapped by Dr. Bright from the SCPs Foundation. <laughs> Why did he do the Dr. Bright yoga? I washed him before bed last night. Oh, so he's acting. Yeah, more grunt acting at the moment. <laughs> And suddenly it's Fatal Frame. I've... Never mind, it's Undertale. <laughs> it's Under Frame. Chapter 1 Wartem's War. Okay. WASD controls. Space. Okay, Amulet. So very obviously that has some mystical power to it. Inventory. My family heirloom. It's been passed down countless generations. Okay. It Ooh. looks good, I had to say. Yeah. New diary entry. What is this place? I'm so lost. Mom doesn't know where I am and I'm uh, supposed to be looking for Dad. I have to find a way out of here and keep looking for him. I know that if I can just get out of here, I'll find some sign of my dad. I won't give up. Okay. I don't get this. Willow's family. The hell is going on up there? <laughs> oh, it seems Will we aren't people? just in some random tunnels. This is actually part of a crypt. Human bones. Oh dear. And yeah, so far what I can gather, I think her last name is Willow. Seems to be. Oh, the thing is starting to glow all of a sudden. Girl. Hear me, girl. Your power calls to me. Elena. The amulet around your neck was crafted by the first high shaman of the Quantaco uh, tribe, my grandfather. It glows in the presence of spirits and boosts your shamanic powers. Let it be your guide. Oh, and yeah, there we go. <laughs> Flying Hawk. The spirit and body may drift from one another, but must be joined as one in the end. A fragmented life cannot be lived. 
I lost my body and look at me now. But perhaps you can help me find it. I shall reside within your amulet and teach you to fend off the darkness. Okay, so yeah, we're we're dealing with some oh, flying hawk's ghost. We're dealing with some Native American and shaman, shaman uh, <laughs> stuff. Let's, Interesting. Let's hope they don't get stupid with it, like uh, well, people during the '90s and zeros got. Uh, it was only recent that the uh, I forget the name of the city, but there was a football or baseball team, best baseball team called the Redskins. Uh, of course, uh, pointing to the Native Americans, which, uh, yeah. Yeah, I always found that the... But before I knew it was a reference to uh, Native Americans, I was wondering, why were, are they keep, why did they name themselves of Sunburn? <laughs> I thought it was at first more like uh, this, you know, supposed to be the, the skin of the... Uh, uh, of the ball, but that's more brown than red, but yeah, I, I was a stupid kid, I'll just say that. Let's yeah. See. <laughs> I don't there's blame a crack, you. There's a crack above that door. Use it and get to the other room. Okay. Uh, look, I have seen some, there are some old guys that did Native American stuff respectfully, and others just went a little bit overboard. I think the original Prey was at least decent with it, I think. A, a bit uh, a bit off here and there, but otherwise well. And we might stream that yeah. sometime. Yeah, they were not <laughs> mocking them at least. Yeah. Glowing objects can be possessed. Move closer and possess the switch in this lever. Okay. All right. Good work, Elena. Now rejoin your body and spirit. And Q to just zoom back. Okay. New diary entry. Achievement first contact. Okay. I can hardly believe it. I just met a ghost. His name is Flying Hawk and he's one of my ancestors. He told me my amulet has power and he taught me, uh, taught me how to use it. Now we can take control of my spirits. This is just what I need to help find Dad. I was feeling pretty worried for a little while, but I don't think any more, anything can stop me now. Uh, hubris before the fall. <laughs> yeah. But, but, I got the animation looks very good. Actually, the this this here looks better than the intro for me. This is rare. Yeah, there for, are there are the very obvious jumps, but it it gives it a a bit of a high a high quality cartoon vibe to it. it it's not completely uh, um. What is the word? It's a variant of smooth. It, it doesn't look like completely 100% smooth, but that actually helps it stand out a bit, maybe. Yeah. So, I will say this about the intro. But many parts of the intro that looked like it was taken from WikiHow or something. <laughs> Hello. Word Willow's... Uh, Word with Willow's... Uh, two of thir uh, oh, 13th of February. I was thinking... <laughs> <laughs> Two of thirteen. No, let's see. My dearest Martha has fallen dreadfully ill. She's contracted. She's contracted a case of dysentery. I don't think you want to con. Uh, yeah, you, I don't think you want a contract with dysentery. <laughs> the physician we brought with us uh, believes she will live, but I am in a constant state of worry. I care for her day and night. Surely she cannot care for herself. It pains me that she cannot see the beautiful land we passed through. I feel as though the sight will do, or would do her well. But the physician has warned that she mustn't move, nor be moved by any, else her fragile state could go into dis disarray. I thought it was an N at the first there, a disarray. That yeah, isn't the word, is I it, think. Is it? I think the writing could need a little bit polish. Uh, writing as in the the actual writing, not the uh, story and such. But yeah, it's it looks a bit off. Could have been a yeah. bit more work, but it's a small thing. Yeah, yeah. Most of the letters are a little bit too close to each other, making it a bit harder to read. Yeah, it looks like like my freaking handwriting. <laughs> I pray to God that He will save her. I can do not but wait and pray. Okay, bit of lore. It seems we're mostly free to just go around. Yeah, and just to reiterate, 
The intro scene was good, just some of the scene looked a bit rough, while others looked very good. Jeremiah Mose? This coven looks like it was made in a rush. Oop. And there's something spiritual here. No keyhole. I wonder how it opens. I think I see a gap up there. I see a machine thing roll Oh, uh, hello. Uh, um. Ming Xiang. Worth him, you know, worth him made this door without a keyhole to restrict access to all but himself. Nobody knows what's in there, though. I've only heard rumors. Uh, okay, let's uh, avoid the other talking points. As in the big ass <laughs> pointed beam. Hmm. What the heck happened to him? Um, well, if someone mistook him for a Chinese vampire, I think they mis <laughs> they got the wrong uh, continent's uh, countermeasure for doing and de <laughs> dealing with those. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. The the week for oh, hello. Can we persist? And no, we cannot because we it doesn't glow. But this is how it's. That's how the door is going to open, then. Um, but yeah, if I recall correctly, dealing with the Chinese uh, hopping... <clears throat> with Chinese hopping vampires, as they are sometimes called, you actually have to remove the seal on their forehead. But, of course, that means you'll have to, you'll, you'll have to get in grabbing distance first. Okay. I did uh, not know that! Okay, let's just hope that that's painting and not blood on the wall. Ilya, oh, it's a it horror is. game. Wait, it was? Yeah, it, it's smeared with blood. Oh, it was blood. Okay. So I was about to say it's a horror game, what do you expect? Okay, that's storage. So this is a dead end for now. And I'm, I'm not really sure if this could fully be called a horror game, but then again, the definition of horror game has changed a bit in recent times with uh yeah things leading a lot more towards jump scares and such yeah no there's there's been change towards that at least oh, it is in many you were in the games flying hawk 5th of february the great eagle returned and took me upon uh its bare crown again we flew into the air and well, a bald eagle <laughs> We flew into the air and rested on the clouds. I could see beyond the uh, beyond the horizon, and what I saw choked the breath from my lungs as my heart was wrenched from my chest. The earth turned in uh, turned in on itself, and so too did my skin. The world was in certain upheaval. Pale figures marched across the land and brought with them blankets of death that covered my people as they slept. I saw plumes of dust darkening the sky, and no plants grew, and giant black rivers cut across the land like infested veins. Monstrous looking beasts of metal and industry uh, will fill our land and destroy the bonds we have worked so hard to nurture. Um, yeah, the settlers. Yeah. Willard Hagar. The state's groundkeeper, okay. And there's a crack in the ceiling. Yeah, I don't think you'd fit through that either. But we know what would. It is your spirit body. Let's see. And, oh, that didn't way down here. And I see a key over there. Alright. Simple enough. Oh, storage key. <laughs> of course. Okay, so no big ass bo uh, backtracking so far. Hmm. So far, so good, certainly, with my opinion of this game. Oh, yeah. I'm intrigued. Okay, definitely good for weekend, you know, for on the Saturdays. So far. Oh, it's glowing red. 
Um, Let's take a bit of distance, and that thing is shaking. Yeah, there's some sort of ghost spider in there. Uh, yeah, I don't think it has a spider. He has a... It looks like it has a stinger as well. It's bad like, news what? all the same. Yeah, it, it looks hostile. Okay. And there's a blue ghost here somewhere. Um, oh, we can... What happened <laughs> with the walls? <laughs> we can pick up notes as a ghost as well. Uh, 1st of February. No, no for... Yeah, is there a... Okay, I think it might be one out of 13 after all then. Oh well. At least that doesn't mean we don't have to keep track of a timeline or something. This day heralds the coming of a new dawn for me. The history books will sing my praises and the world over shall know of my deeds. I set off to settle at uh, the savage west. With me as uh, with me as always is my uh, trusted companion Darby O'Halloran. It was an enormous relief to know he would accompany me. He's far and away my most trusted friend, and I don't know what I'd do without him. Along with us are 24 men that used to work for my father who are now under my employ. They will be crucial in the grunt work along the way. Also with me is, of course, my beautiful bride Martha, who demanded she join me. Staying here in New England, however, is young Marcus. He's already 16 years old, almost a man. Uh, a man. <clears throat> He shall continue his education and apprentice under my own father. He could have no better a teacher, surely. The boy pleaded with me to come along, but I told him he needed to do what was right for the family business, that someone would need to look after it while I established myself in the West. He's a sharp lad and understood well the necessity of his sacrifice. I embraced him more tightly than ever I had dared to do, but he'd soon be a man and I knew he could take it. Okay, we've got some of our characters then. We've got Wardham himself, Darby, Martha, and Marcus. I get the feeling a lot of this is going to be a mystery of what the hell happened as well. And yeah, something wanted to get out. Or, wait, Matt wanted to go, oh. Yep, because there's a little hole there. Okay, oh, hello there. Uh, Anastasio Arbore. His lever opens the crypt near the door. Wortham hit the lever in here to keep his secrets from escaping. Okay. Uh, you think with all the shaking and shuddering? I'm guessing that opened the exit to this place. Hmm. Then we we stumble on the way to get out, then by mostly accident. Hmm. There's still that secret room down there, though. But I get the feeling that might come up later. For now, let's just yeah. That I'm pretty sure that was open. No, this no. We opened this before. We've gone the wrong way, so. Let's see then. That's a dead end. So further right we go, and then up here. Oh. Hole in the wall. What could have made this? Hmm. On the other Indian side of the landslide. <laughs> no, that would just make me really freaking annoyed. And okay, this is where we started. Mm, oh, hell. Okay. Uh, just hide that inside there, I guess. A crescent moon on that door. Hmm. All of these candles are lit, so that would suggest that there is some activity still here. Uh, hopefully, besides ghost activity. Another note. Flying hawk again. Uh... Ah, here, this is the first one. I soar through the sky as I set atop a great eagle's bald head. Yep. <laughs> I was not being as literal with it before. 
I was carried further up beyond the clouds until I, saw, at, uh, until I sat with the stars. I watched as the gods molded the world and used their own bodies for the decay. I must read that as they, because the letters are so close together. They tore out their hearts for the earth's core and their blood is the water we drink. We walk about their dirt flesh and rock bones. When all that was left were the hands they used to shape the world, their fingers became the trees that cover our land. It is to them that we owe everything, and we must honor our eternal bond and live in harmony with the Great Spirit. The Spirit Realm calls me more often than I did before. As High Shaman of the Quantaco, uh, I must uh, heed its call and relate to my people what the Great Spirit has shown me. I am probably mispronouncing that, so apologies for that in advance. Great Spirit... Uh, at I know there's many different religions within Native Americans, but the one I we usually see is the one with the Great Spirit. Mm, yep. Our... I don't think I usually hear mm. which one the Great Spirit is uh, connected to. So it feels rather slight annoying that we don't know which is which, uh, who, who worship what. Uh, it could be... Uh, it could be that it... It's likely that a few of them uh, worship uh, at least similar uh, spirits, that they get unified a bit, and... Okay, I, we're... did we go this way earlier? I don't remember walking past that big, wall, uh, big hole in the wall. Um, so I, I've gotten a bit lost, I think. That's the storage. We've already checked everything here. That's still locked. That's not the door that was opened earlier. I presume that whatever... Oh, actually... Wait. Has this moved? I it don't has. think it's moved. I'm not it sure has. if it moved. No, no, no. That sack was higher up before. Okay. Then let's move around. And check that out again. And hopefully we didn't release all the evil spirits into this place or something. Hmm. Um, time will tell. This place is not, nothing like a yeah. damn chaos spawn. Oh, crescent key. Okay, this is the key to the outside. Oh. Hell is going on to castle. Uh, okay, uh, okay, now it's a horror game. So, oh fuck. Come on. Don't get stuck, your, your spirit, how you, you get stuck on that. Okay, and back. Okay, run. Achievement, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, we pretty sure were afraid of that ghost. You were, not me. A growing darkness has plagued this place since my death. It festers beneath the surface like an infested boil. In exchange for my teachings, you must in turn assist me, Elena. I need to find my body and you're the only one who can help. I get the feeling you might be long dead, Flying Hawk. I suspect he knows. Hmm. Probably just easy for him to, you know, move on toward the side when he's inside his own body. Maybe. We don't know how long of... Oh, actually... Uh, yeah. I was about to say we don't know how long ago he died, but those notes made it all sound a lot like a... Uh... Yeah, he, he was there before, uh, during the yeah, colony era. So he's likely been dead long, long ago. Yeah. Okay. What what on earth was that thing? I felt like I was living one of my nightmares. I could feel it feeding on me, on my spirit. I'm so tired, but I have to keep going. I'm the only one that can find my dad. The demon's gone now, and I'm almost out of here. I promised Flying Hawk I'd help him find his body. I'm, I'm not sure, but I feel like the guest house is where I should look first. Alright. What? What a little fountain. I'm surprised it still works. 
there going to be a T in there or something? Uh, that's locked, and we have someone here. Oh, hello. Ew, what, what happened to your face? Skyflower. Did you see the white men? I'm picking flowers for them. Flying Hawk says we should be peaceful. Oh, wait a minute. Is that... Okay, that talk about blankets of death earlier... Uh, yeah, I forget specifically if it was intent... I believe at first perhaps it was unintentional, but later intentional. That, uh, yeah, settlers started giving the Native Americans blankets that were, yeah, from the... You know, from people who were diseased and well since the native americans before never had running had encountered such diseases they spread like wildfire and killed plenty yeah uh -huh. i find some of the early history of uh, america's rather tragic yeah john elkhorn a new character I've been hired as groundskeeper of the Willowness Mansion here in town. It's not my ideal work situation, but at least it's income for now. I should, uh, it should just be temporary for me anyway, but I can't stay unemployed with a family to provide for. I have to make sure I'll be able to send Elena to a good school, wet, and buy her the things she needs. I was actually uh, really lucky to come across this uh, opportunity. The old groundkeeper suddenly decided he had enough of the place after 30 some years of watching over it. He quit on the spot. It was an immediate higher air position. I don't have much experience with this kind of thing, aside from landscaping when I was 17 or, old, no, or so, or 17 years old or so. But I needed someone, and it would appear as though I'm that someone. Okay, so Elena's father worked here. That has to be pretty recent. Okay, so she's not a willow then. Hmm. I guess, will, I guess the name is named after the mansion. Yeah. Let's see, where is this? Okay, it's just multiple levels of the garden. Wait, oh, oh, bloody heck. Hmm? I must have mentioned that I, I willow trees are usually be, uh, beautiful. Then I see these willow trees you just walk past. <laughs> the drapey ones? Yeah, I forgot they cannot can turn rather horrifying. <laughs> Let's see, Wortham again. Young Marcus wished to visit me here, but I have taken up residence in San Domingo farmhouse that I commissioned the men to build for me. I do not wish for him to see me living in such a hut. But my means now allow me to live rather more comfortably, and so I have decided to build a mansion befitting of my rising wealth and stature. As my wealth grows, so too shall my mansion and the extravagance of its grounds. My quaint farmhouse shall be converted into a guest house as I plan to host functions that will make me famous and on this side of the country. I hope to have much in order uh, when he. Yeah, I hope to have much in order when he arrives, uh, such that we may spend ample time together, uh, yeah, visiting together. He was. Uh, he has informed me within his letters of how much he has grown, and I truly cannot wait to see the boy. It has been far too long. I look forward to seeing him and getting a glimpse of what his mother has shown up inside of him. Inside him. <laughs> okay, a bit of an odd wording, but yes, yeah, to see how much, you know, what, in which ways he resembles his mother now. Hmm. Okay. We need something for vines. Um, front of the mansion. Observatory. Oh, okay, we can enter here. See, I don't recognize that constellation. And it seems... Oh, there's someone here. Oh. Less rivers. I must admit, frankly, I'm shocked. It feels like I've been waiting around forever for my business meeting with Mr. Willows. The sun here is so bright and warm, I'm, uh, I may just take a nap in it. Uh, where um, is one of your hands? Where? And the fingers What's on the burnt? other. 
It certainly looks like he has suffered some flame damage, yeah? Yeah, for yeah. like, his fingers were missing, yes. But it also looked like he was heavily burned. And from Wortham, I do believe we have found an opportune location for our new home. A verdant glade surrounded by rivers teeming with fish and an abundance of wild game. A complication exists, however. The glade is home to a tribe of savages called the Quantaco. Oh, great. I have heard tell that they are a peaceful folk, but it confounds my mind to think that savages with neither government nor laws could contain any amount of civility within their primitive brains. Ugh. But I shall do my part as a member of the superior race and extend to them the decorum upon which I was robustly reared. I shall conduct myself as though I were at a business meeting with other refined gentlemen. Uh, yeah. Okay. At the very least, it. At, at the very least, his first <laughs> thought wasn't to go immediately for genocide. Uh. But there's definitely a lot of. Okay. I don't know if, if arrogance is too mildly of a word in this case. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, those who think themselves superior, oops, those that think themselves superior to others, instead prove themselves as inferior, because it shows how small-minded they are. Madame Lo, oh my, it has been quite chilly as of late. Please take my coat. A lady such as yourself shouldn't uh, go cold. Uh, yeah, it seems that all of the dead, except for Flying Hawk. Uh, don't know that they're dead. Uh, right. Let's see. Her neck is snapped, several along with several bones, and he is covered in glass. I think. Mm. And yeah, the, judging also by the fact of the big fucking board covering the window, I think uh, I think we can take a guess at uh, how he met his end. And she likely met it from a, a ways up further. Hmm. I get the feeling we're, need to, we're going to need to bring items to these ghosts to get them to you know, pass on or something. But for now, we've reached our half hour. So, yeah, I'm definitely curious. So, this is going on the list, I'd say. And you? Yeah, definitely. I could see... It on a Saturday or Sunday they are streaming, depending mm. how short, of course. And we're moving on to the second game, which might be a bit difficult to work with, because it is one of the older games on GOG. Uh, so if it will start up, hmm. and this is why I have one game extra at the ready always. In case, yeah, something just doesn't want to work. Uh, which it doesn't seem to be doing at the moment. So let's give that another try. Yeah, it has been a while we had issues with the Sunday games. Come on. I know it worked earlier, so why are you refusing to now? Hmm. Come on, you started before. Up oh, there, oh, it, it's it's because this game is actually not on GOG, so it has to start up Origin, which hasn't been on for quite a while. Uh, it, I did get it to upgrade uh, the update, and I did test the game before. So there we go. It is starting now. And can I? Screen share this to the tier. Uh, oh, it's going to be like this again, isn't it? Nope, there we go. I did say it was old. Wing Commander 3 from the 90s. 
off of the tiger? And Wait, what? Yeah, Mark Hamill. Ron <laughs> <laughs> Rice David? I recognize that name. I recognize both those names. It's. I think I recognize the second one, though? Malcolm McDowell. I, I think I've heard that one before. Yeah. The many names I recognize here, just I don't put the faces to who's who. <laughs> Fabio De Palma. Frank Savage. <laughs> And yeah, Chris Roberts again. I, I've heard that they've been attempts to revive this series lately. Oh. And yeah, ye old choppy nineties three uh, D, huh? Is this charm? And ye old FMV. Incursion was an act of desperation. The hell escapes now frail about knowing that they are beaten. They have failed their race utterly. There will be no interrogation. Do what you will with them. Disintegration. Silence. My brethren, they are not warriors, but maggots. Ow. Only one of them is worthy of being treated as a warrior. The one they call Angel. Still defiant, Nanotero. If we were to offer coexistence with your kind, would you not accept it? The Kilorati do not coexist. No, and now that the tide has turned in this war, your defiance is a pathetic and useless gesture. You bore me, monsieur. Disintegrate me so I might join my comrades. Disintegration is not for you. Your fate will be different. The human cannot appreciate the honor that I am about to bestow her. She is not only a great warrior, but her lair mate is the heart of the tiger. Of note, I didn't see this before. May they rest in peace. Peace. Have we ever known anything like that, Paladin? Not for a long time, laddie. First the tiger's claw, now this. Enough. You are not to blame for either. Some would disagree. This is Colonel Christopher Blair. Report to Admiral Talwin. 
the wreckage of the Concordia has been located on Vespas off the Mistral Coast. Evaluation. Total loss. You can't live your life for the approval of one man. Anywhere from Angel. None. Is that the official line? I know how much she means to you, Lenny. This is going on for quite a bit longer than I expected, so I think we might have to do this one a bit shorter. Yeah. <laughs> because it's already now at almost 10 minutes or so. Excuse me, sir. Did you say the victory? Is there something wrong with your hearing, Colonel? No, sir. It's just that I... The TCS victory is a fine carrier with a long history of service to the Confederation. Yes, sir. A very long history, sir. Ship assignments aren't open to debate, Colonel. Of course, I realize that the accommodations may not be what you're quite used to. Well, sir, I didn't mean to suggest that the victory will benefit greatly from having a wing commander of your stature and experience. Thank you, sir. But can't we at least discuss the... Now that we have the Kilrathi on the run in both the Gardell and Morpheus systems, I can afford to shift you to the victory in Orsini. So we're getting moved away from the front line. What I'm trying to tell you, Colonel, is that things are looking up. The Confederation has been making some very positive strides. Dismissed. Sir, about my request. Yes. It came as a bit of a surprise to me. As you know, Colonel Devereaux's status is on a need-to-know basis. Your shuttle is waiting. I hope those flickerings yes, aren't catching too much on OBS. Uh, oh yes, they are catching. It's so luckily they're only like a frame or so. Yeah, I, I I don't know much about the story of Wing Commander, but yeah, obviously it's a <laughs> it's basically humans versus Klingons, only they're cats. Despite recent losses in several densely populated sectors, Confederation spokespeople insist that humanity maintains the upper hand in its galactic struggle with the Karaki. <sighs> However, our sources document a consistent underreporting of Kilrathi incursions, as well as civilian and industrial losses. There are even reports of Confed plans for a doomsday evacuation of Earth, replanting the seeds of humanity in a distant galaxy. The question is, who would go? Who would be left behind? And most importantly, who is making these decisions? Yeah, sounds like uh, they're feeding the people a load of bullshit. Really, it looks like an aircraft carrier. I suspect that's the point. Yeah. TCS victory, Colonel. Thank you, Captain. Better known as Tin Can Sally. <laughs> it warms my heart to see you again, Colonel. But I must excuse myself now, as your duty here takes precedence over our catching up on old times. Thank you, Hobbs. We'll talk later. <laughs> For a moment, I thought they were going to high five. <laughs> yes, I know what you're thinking. She's no Concordia. Well, neither is a Concordia anymore. Yeah. Terrible loss. My sympathies. However, you're in my home now, and I'll expect you to wipe your feet every time you come in. I've been with the victory most of my career, 
I was communications officer during a maiden voyage. Well, sir, I'll admit I wasn't looking forward to the assignment, but now that I see you have a pilot as fine as Roganar Hollis on your crew. Hollis? Yes, he's my second in command. He's not flying? At his request. I no. know all about his exploits with you, Colonel. But here, no one will fly with a Karathi on his wing. What about his Makes exemplary sense. record? That must stand for something. It was his request. <sighs> Captain Eisen, I'm not going to tell you how to run your ship, but I am going to insist that Hobbs is reinstated to the flight roster immediately. Well, that's admirable, Colonel, but uh, who... I will, sir. I'll fly with him. He's the best wingman I've ever had. And there we go. <laughs> okay. 15 minutes. Or something like that. Uh, yeah, let's give this one to the hour and then move on. But yeah, I wasn't expecting that much at the front. Then again, I probably should have expected it because a lot of these old games uh, that were mostly story driven actually did put everything up front like that. And. Yeah, we aren't given much of a description of what to do, but we can move around like this, like a, it's mist of sorts. I believe we'll be coming here back for starting missions, I believe. And mostly with, well, most likely with one of those ships over there. For now, more FMV. And yeah, Hobbs. <laughs> yeah, it... They keep saying so the Curry Hobbs a he or she repeatedly, so I don't know. Is it she, he or she? Yeah, I believe he. Then again, with lions, yeah, with, with an entire species of lions, it'd be a bit hard to tell with uh, if all of them have a mane like that. Welcome aboard, old friend. You're looking fine and fit. <laughs> Does this war agree with you? Yeah, yeah, like a pair of busted wing flaps. But it's great to see you, buddy. <laughs> and how is the fine pilot and comrade Angel? I don't have a clue. I haven't heard from her in a while. She's on some damn covert off for Tolan. But hey, I got good news for you. I put you back on the fly roster. But I requested... Never mind that. I want you with me on my first mission. Well... There are many brave and noble pilots here. Yeah, but when my life's on the line, I want a wingman I can trust. I shall try not to disappoint you, old friend. I like the costumes. Yeah, they're really well made. There's some rough edges on them, but otherwise fine. Uh, let's see, attend briefing main terminal or go back to the flight deck. Uh, whilst I was testing this game I clicked here and I got myself stuck because apparently you need to put in a call sign or something and I found no way to get out so let's go to the briefing. <laughs> ah, come in Colonel. Time to put that reputation of yours to the test. Confed intelligence tells us that the Karathi presence is growing here in the Orsini system. You and your wingman are to fly routine patrol of these three zones, sweep the area of any hostiles you may encounter. Understood? Completely, sir. Simple enough, patrol. It, it is our first assignment here, of course. So, these are the mission objectives. Oh, and one last thing. Okay, here's where we can pick our wingman, I presume, but since we only have one at the moment, it's Hobbs. Hobbs, you're on my wing for this one. Dismissed, and good luck. Okay, but why, if it's just going to be the two of us, why is everyone else here? Oh, uh, hello. Okay, that, <laughs> that was complete by accident to have her head covered up like that. <laughs> Chief Tech Rachel Coriolis, welcome to the Victory, Colonel. Heard you're flying with Hobbs on this one. You got a problem with that, Chief? No, sir, not at all. I think it's about time that Cat's one hell of a pilot. 
Here she is, one Hellcat 5. She's prepped, primed, loaded, locked, and ready to kick some ass. Thanks. What about ordnance? It's all taken care of. The captain downloads the mission specs to me. I dope out the weapons requirements, so you're set to go. Uh, oh yeah? In the future, Colonel, you have the option of choosing your own weapons. Or you can trust my judgment and fly with my default loadout. I promise, Colonel, never to disappoint. Okay. So, we're going out with a cat and a cat. <laughs> oh, come on. And be right back. Just gonna throw some. Activate my machine to cook my food. Okay. There's just a certain choppy charm to this kind of stuff, and. Yeah, personally, I think that uh, FMV could make a return just for <laughs> the, the silliness of it. It's sort of Oop. Oop. Uh. I think the game Strange Planet has it reintroduced. Okay, I, I think I accidentally hit deploy or something with D. Oh, there we go. Uh, now, how the... Okay. Flight is with the arrow keys. Uh, beyond that... Uh, oh. Okay, I don't... Okay. okay. Uh, space is fire. And, yeah, this game is uh, one of these old space uh, fighting games. Okay. Uh, oh, probably could use oh, a keyboard with... The, no, not a keyboard. A joystick with this. Uh, I've lost sight. Oh, there is one. They're a lot more maneuverable than us. There is a, there's a radar in the center of our console. Okay. Sit still, you dodgy... Uh, wrong button, because these are joystick controls at the moment. So up is down, down is up. Come on. Jump on. This one is chasing, is having me chase it around whilst the other one is sweeping me, I believe. And we're not even getting hits in with that because we need to fire ahead of the target. Uh, oh, someone in chat there. Sorry, it's a bit difficult. Yeah, then engage, Hobbs. Uh, it, I can't really read at the moment because this game is in full screen at the moment. Uh, come on. Yeah. Okay. Is there... Yeah. yeah, this thing is way more agile than we are. There we go. Come on. Yeah, this, this is more like uh, if it's going to allow us to shoot it. It is way more agile. Yeah. Also, how common... Do they still even sell joysticks? Uh, you can still buy joysticks with and uh, Hotas is at... Oh, which is... Uh, Hotas is basically a joystick with a, a throttle uh, combined with it. And I think Hobbs is doing a lot more of the work here at the moment. Uh, yeah, I don't think this is going to... I don't think we're going to accomplish much here. Yeah, this thing is way too agile for us. Uh, yeah, uh, how do we even get out of this? Oops. Yeah, motherfucker got shot. <laughs> You got cocky it and wait, are we even freaking moving? I I think we're just yeah, we're sitting in sp we're sit just sitting still here. Okay, uh Yeah, I have no idea of the, how to how to even move with this. So uh oh, the, the, the heck 
Uh, let, oh, that's the views. Okay. Uh, yeah, I get the feeling we're going to get blown up here in a second. So, let's Alt-Enter. And... Yeah, uh... <laughs> maybe if I had a freaking joystick and... Uh, let's see. Oh, he hello, new Gundam Gaming. And, uh, yeah, I swapped over to this uh, model since it's a lot easier to work with than uh, getting the uh, green screen to work all the time because I have to move, like, five uh, different lamps to try and get it to vanish completely. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, from what I heard, the Wing Commander games are good. It's just that, uh, yeah, you'd have expected at least a bit of a tutorial first. <laughs> Yeah, it might be in this case of they expected you to be an old fan. Uh, not that. It's more... Well, it, it is not It is not a remake or so. That in origin, it is the original version. And yeah, back then you you did have to go... It, well, it was highly recommended you'd go through the... <clears throat> through the uh, manuals first. But yeah. Maybe if we can get that to work somehow, but uh, as is, <laughs> uh, no, I'd say. <laughs> yeah, it looked a bit rough. Yeah, the and those old games could area. also. Yeah, those those old games could also get really, really tough without a, a difficulty setting. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes me it would uh, end up frustrating you. Yeah, so. Whilst VC Face was freaking out there for a moment, let's move on to the third game. Okay, go live with that. And yeah, this is the Witcher Adventure game. <laughs> yeah, not exactly the uh, <laughs> game you might have expected for me to go with here. And actually, let me. Okay, I thought it's. Okay, for some reason that jumped to between my monitors, and let me actually correct the graphic either that as well. Um, over here should just be easy enough for me to fix. Uh, let's see which of these is that is the one. Okay, transform, edit, transform, and then I just change the size of it to nine oh four and ten. Uh, 10 oh, 7 1 and there we go that way it fits completely in the, the hole uh, I'll just not speak any further of that stupid line of mine and yeah I know very little about this game actually so this will be new for all of us and um, let's see move it up a bit yeah, this is very new. I know there was a like Gwent spin-off game, but uh, no idea about this one. I get the feeling it's going to be a bit like Armello and games like that, seeing as they have... It's going to be more of a board game. So, okay. Let's set that to one. And we have Geralt, Dandelion, Triss, and Yarpen Zigrin playing. I don't know who that is. And let's yeah. all three of those to friends. Yeah, yeah, I, know of, friends. Yeah, I, I know of one dwarf that Geralt encounters in at least the first game. Uh, I still have to play this. I still have to play uh, the last Witcher game, but I have played the first and second. And yeah, we could we could stream those games one uh, and go from one to three. Though that would be quite an investment of time, since they are pretty big games. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, not even... Not even a tutorial. Okay, play offline. Really? Oh, there is the tutorial. There we go. Let's go with that and start the timer. Alright. Introduction. Welcome to the Witcher Adventure Game. This is a game in which four heroes embark on a journey to complete quests and earn victory points. Okay, the so it is like game, Armello. Each hero draws two quest cards and chooses to keep one. Geralt pursues quests involving combat. Triss prefers quests that require magic. Dandelion opts for diplomacy-based quests. 
and Yarpen chooses either a combat or a diplomacy quest. Okay. In order to complete a quest, you must first fulfill its requirements by gathering the quest's required resources and traveling to the quest's location. You can gather resources by traveling to locations and resolving investigation cards. Each time you visit a location, you receive a lead. The color and number of leads depends on the location. When you have enough leads, you exchange them for proof. The exchange rate is different for each player. Okay. Once you have obtained enough proof, you should travel to the quest location. Once there, you complete the quest, resolve its consequences, and receive any victory points and rewards you have earned. After completing a quest, you choose a new quest to begin working towards. Once any of the players has completed the number of quests indicated in the quest goal, the remaining players may play one more turn, and then the game ends. Whoever has the most hmm. victory points at the end wins the game. Okay. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I just realized that this game is very unlikely to be streamed by us, or at least for its story, because, yeah, it sounds more likely you make the story for yourself. Hmm. Uh, shall we continue with this one, or shall we instead move on and use the... and also cover... what is with the music? Also cover the backup game? backup game for I did not feel impressed by this. I even felt like, yeah, I'm gonna go and grab my food. <laughs> that's why I was even sorry, I was in the kitchen. Well, that's any. Again, this is why I always have a backup ready. And I know this one is going to be a lot more impressive, though. And oh, even if it just. Okay, it's swifted. It's swifted. It's shifted around the resolution of my monitor there for a second. Okay. Stream share to Drakir. And yeah, this is The Wolf Among Us. Uh, for, pe uh, for people who are fans of Telltale games, they will definitely know of this game. Since, well, it is one of their highlights from what I've, I've heard and seen. There we go. Okay. Yeah, for those who already know of this game, I, it needs no introduction for everyone else. Let's just let the game speak for itself then. Episode 1, Faith. Now this is... This, I believe, was one of their first original works. The series adapts uh, to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. And with this one, I think it actually means that, that it doesn't just railroad you back onto a certain uh, line. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale creature uh, characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of magic uh, of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community, uh, Sheriff Big Wolf something something. <laughs> It, a record for the date, hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low, but remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. <laughs> it's been a while since I heard uh, the Miracle of Sound, you uh, uh, song that they made for this. I should play that up again. I thought I had one. Yeah, from what I remember and have heard of this game, uh, this is basically L.A. Noir, but uh, modern fairy tale characters. $400 to get a ride to the Bahamas by taxi. That is going to take days, I think. 
Tenant building south wrong sometime after midnight. Mr. Toad? Oh, shit. Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three-foot toad in a sweater. That's a problem. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spout goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Hmm. I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right. Right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Fuck you now! See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place! Oh, thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. This is uh, the straw, Big B. He has to go. I thought we've selected that one there. So what set him off? Who knows why it was this time? Man's got a hair trigger. I avoid him as much as possible. When did he start drinking? Not sure he ever stopped. Fuck you! I didn't know anyone else was up there. Ah, crap. Now it's someone else's problem <laughs> as well. <laughs> Furry prick gob shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get the fuck back inside. Hey, yeah, our character is the big bad wolf. <laughs> okay, oh, the dear. wolf among us. No, I fucking am, you hear? Okay, uh, let's take a quick set. Uh, audio, video. Is there some... Yeah, display subtitles on. Okay, also move this box around a bit because it got set off center. Okay. Uh, actually, let's take another extra bit of a look here at the Book of Fables. And we have all of the, our characters. Or all the characters are going to be. Big Wee Wolf. Pebbletown Sheriff, the renowned Big Bad Wolf. He's known for tormenting pigs and girls in Red Hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Bigby now acts as Fabletown Sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. Ever due to his rough past, the citizens of Fabletown are slow to trust him. Bigby is determined to show that he is truly changed, but some instincts are just too hard to control. And then we have Mr. Toad, the Slumlord. Mr. Toad is the superintendent of a defect, uh, defunct tenement on the edge of Fabletown proper. Because he's a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Toad is required by Fabletown law to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Okay. So basically like a... <clears throat> Basically, like Vampire the Masquerade, they have to keep their, their existence hey, hidden. Look at me. Let's see. Let go. Yeah, this is becoming a domestic abuse thing. So we should interfere, but first let's explore around a bit. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. Get off of me. Okay, that sounds bad. God damn you! No way. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking kill you! 
All right, everyone. And no, oh, so much for that. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. And a huntsman. Woody, this is your last warning. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Bolt. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Oh. Ow. Uh, oh. There. I was... Ow. Fuck. Okay. Thank you. Uh... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, let's put him in there. Back off, asshole. Uh, oh, that would be gave him a weapon. Okay. Uh, out too, too long. Yeah, now we get planted. Gonna watch me kill you. Okay, had enough now. Yep. Nope. Ow. Okay, come on. I know that alcohol has a sedating effect, and I actually forgot to start the timer. Oh, fuck. Actually, I did start the timer, but... Or is it still... Well, uh... <laughs> I look away for one second for the timer. Uh... Already concerned about streaming this after this uh, disaster. <laughs> Double grunt. Okay, uh, why is he even allowed to have that? Okay. Just don't use the... Okay, there. Is that it? You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit! I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Hey, if you can't be nice, I'm gonna make you wait outside. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You <laughs> broke my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit. What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Just shut up. Get off. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you all right? I'm Pretty easy guess for why she was here. Thanks for asking. What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Me. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Okay, Why so she's another fable. He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open. And filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, could you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. <laughs> Ow. Dear. No. <laughs> <laughs> Straight through the wall and all. Oh, shit. There. <laughs> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. 
Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Pillow, perhaps? Uh, sorry about the car. We ended up going out the window. It couldn't be avoided. I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Come on. This is just going to be one big ass fight scene, isn't it? Uh, uh come on, going for uh, ow. That got close. If they're still going. Thanks. Don't mention it. I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. Yeah, I didn't even have enough to pay. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be. I'll kill you. <laughs> you fucking bitch. Let me help you. Ow. He's had enough. He's a fable. Son of a bitch can take plenty. <laughs> um. Okay, we're confiscating that. Just leaving it on the side. That Just come on. Hmm. Here. Thanks. Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Thank you. Yeah, there's you more going on here. For. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. And he's gone. Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. How much was the OJ? A hundred. I'm guessing bad for you to show up empty-handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got, uh, 
It'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Just take the money, okay? You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. You should get cleaned up. You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. <laughs> Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. <laughs> I'll see you around, Wolf. Who is that? I think I remember, but yeah, I should not say it. I, sus I suspect. Probably, yeah. And yeah, this is good so far, but uh, it's a bit hard to commentate with all the chatter. Yeah, and the. Let's face it, the controls are also an issue, and everything is timed, I think. Yeah, a lot of things, yeah. Uh, the controls was more. Yeah, yeah. People have their opinions about QTEs and such. I generally don't mind them too much. Uh, but yeah, that got a bit confusing as to what I had to bring to what there with the circles. But shouldn't be an issue from there on. Just bring big to small. And uh, yeah, the graph, the graphics are quite uh, <laughs> are quite good. They go with the, you know, they go with uh, Telltale's uh, rather Telltale uh, <laughs> cell shaded look. But it 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 works really well here. Yeah. And that kind of shell shading usually age well, if I remember right. Yeah. Let's see, Wolf in Streets. I do. Do street names actually get put on the brickwork or something in some places, or on the on the yeah, sidewalks or whatever you call them? Okay. I think the, the thing is more common with a road sign, but they do sometimes do it on the those but i think i think in only america though we we i don't think it's in any countries do that else do that they have might not been in too many countries okay so this uh we this is where we live then the gate looks snazzy but yeah there's plenty of things visible in the stonework and okay whatever here but they say he lived in this. Oh, maybe he lives in the basement or something. Yep. Sometimes be a disciplinary. Snow, snow white. Okay, only option is to go inside. Hello there. There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. Who are you? I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. I can't be too careful these days. Yeah, it seems that the fables aren't living too fabulous a life. I'm late. Hmm. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Look, 
Whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. It sounds like possible abuse going on. It's not what you might be thinking. Mm hmm. Hmm. Right. <clears throat> Let's give it five more minutes, uh, since I forgot to start the timer, <laughs> and then we'll give the last half hour to the backup game. A suit of armor that looks pretty fancy, and if flycatcher needs to dust this guy, flycatcher. If if yeah, definitely needs a dusting. <laughs> It looks almost uh, like a footman armor for Warcraft 3. Yeah, with the big ass flaps on the side of the face. Okay, who the hell is that? Uh, first, let's look around a bit more. See if we have any mail. Been a while since I got any mail. Let's see, 204 is the only one color difference, so that's the one. Okay. Uh, ah, we can move around normally with WSD, a name tag. Damn thing fell off again. Uh, yeah. Very clear then where that one belongs, and well, we saw the number before, our, our room is 204. How long is this gonna go on? Wait, he's the only one without an actual one? Really? I think the sheriff would get a permanent listing. I guess they aren't expecting you to stay permanently then. Hmm. Okay, wake up. Hey, you wake? Hmm. Probably for the best. Okay, then. <laughs> it didn't change much of anything. Though I get the feeling that this is going. Yeah, you know, this might wake him up. Or not. Or... Oh, hello. Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Nope, haven't seen her. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. Okay, I didn't actually expect to run into beasts that soon after. Hmm. Then again, with, <laughs> with all of these types of games, it always seems to be the case that whenever you're talking with one person about another, they'll show up sooner or later anyways. <laughs> Sounds like the place having a bit of a heat issue, uh, while well, the entire city having a bit of a heat issue. Hmm. What a night. Okay, yeah, I am. Okay, so. Well, there was the timer going off. I can't remember if I set that up again or if, uh, if it was still running from Wing Commander. But uh, yeah, I am definitely, I'm definitely intrigued. I've heard that the story of this is very good and that it is, uh, okay, we're all out of stuff, even out of ice, which isn't very nice. So we'll have to go get more for a certain price. Uh, you, 
you just fill those plastic things with water from the, the sink there to put it back I in. I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely interested in continuing with this game, but... Uh, yeah, would you think this would make uh, for good streaming? Since, yeah, we do have to shut up for a good long times. Yeah, and the quick time event could be an issue sometimes. And I, 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 would, I think I would need to ponder on this, for it is a good game, though. It has, from what I remember, it could get very... Almost too much drama at times. Bluebeard's file. Hmm. I don't know. It may depend on the choices you do. Never trusted this guy. Hmm. Now let's let's leave it as a a maybe with a lean towards yes then. And okay, yeah, it, then. We may want to at least investigate how long the game is. Okay. Yeah, investigate. Complete chapter one of episode one. And I'm guessing from the numbers that there's going to be five episodes total. Okay. Um, yeah, if... If we won't stream this, I'll probably... Uh, I'll probably just solo record it at some point. Since I'm really interested in this game. But yeah. Yeah, I, I, I might as well just... I'm literally, I won't like. I'm a bit concerned how smooth it will go for. It's it's important decision making is timed and all, so we don't really have much time to ponder which is the best option. Yeah. So, so moving on to the back cup game. Yeah, that, that is part of the. the yeah. <laughs> we Sorry. keep going over each other. That is part of the uh, appeal of those games. That's you. Uh, you can't, you have, it puts, it's an immersive thing. You can't just uh, wait 15 minutes to debate over something. And you do have yeah. to make uh, decisions in the moment, which also means that you're likely going to make mistakes. Yeah, sometimes it, it works well. And other times there may be a bit too many of those where you never get a chance to ponder on the choice. And sometimes yeah, they don't even give you time to pick their choice. Yeah. For now, though, the backup game for today is World of Final Fantasy. Uh, ordinarily, I would have originally thought about uh, using a different game to put on here, uh, which would have been Wolfenstein The New Order. But uh, I've heard some things that it can... It, well, I've heard that it is a good and fun game. Uh, I've also caught bits of it that it gets can get very disturbing with some parts. So I'm... Well, again, I, I, if I heard it's a good game and I would want to stream it eventually or at the very least play it for myself. Uh, I didn't want it to be a possible downer start or end to a showcase uh, Sunday. So that is why I have left it out. And instead we'll be skipping forwards to, well, World of Final Fantasy. Yep, yeah, I actually have. I'm and not this finished, is an, though. another recent game. I believe from this year or last year? Wait, no. Hmm? No. Yeah, okay. It's, I it's older by now. It came, it came out before the pandemic. Yeah, okay, I, I only learned about this game uh, like uh, a few months ago. It, this is one of the, the recent Final purchases Fantasy. of my... Uh, uh, yeah, oh I, dear. I know little about this game, other than that uh, you can apparently swap back and forth between chibi mode and normal mode. So yeah, let's check the config for subtitles or such, voice language. Yeah, don't forget the screen share. Yeah, uh, which I almost did. So there we go. <laughs> All right. So, oh no, I think I remember. I, I think the intro might be a bit long. So I forgot. Yeah, yeah, it's just up there. Where it is? 2016, 2018. Okay. 
a bit of... <laughs> this, yeah, this flew quite under the radar for me quite a long, yeah, for quite some time. Typ typically, World Final Fantasy news spreads rates. pretty fast. Again, I kept getting trailers for it a lot. Then I still wait in the investigator for And what? I will try and buy that and see if it works for me. And I played a little bit on that uh, now and then. Do I never finished it? All right. Well, if the intro is going to be long, I'm starting the timer now and hitting new game. I, sh I should just start the timer every time before oh. I start. Awake at last. Before I really start anything with any cutscenes or anything. Um. Tick -tock. Super close up all of a sudden. <laughs> the brother. I was going to. I was going to say Sora for a moment, but no, he has darker hair. <laughs> Do it. That doesn't look like a glove. If that does look like a glove. Are they gloves? <laughs> it's a bit too... The sister? I forgot them. Okay, yeah, it, it looks like they're both gloves because it, it stands out quite a bit from the the arm there with him as well. Hmm. What is that? Okay, we start off with half an android. And the uh, heck? The hell are we? Oh. Up Sorry. high. Hmm. All right, all right. The video is not long. The tutorial is. <laughs> of course. Hmm. What is this place and where? Of what? What is? It's a city. A, a city of where and what? And okay, I, I think you both need coffee. <laughs> Oh, and a, a, a handrail. To wake up. Oh, bad. Yeah, do it. Dub <laughs> Make it a double on the handrail. <laughs> what a nap. Um Inky got a stowaway. <laughs> oh right. I gotta get to work. <laughs> Mooka with sunglasses. So a very burnt out PS1 on the table there. Am I going to uh, make it? The boss hates when I'm late. I need to get to North Promenade before I'm late for work. The hell is going on here? Again, it's not like business has picked up any. Okay, I'm... I'm picked up the... Con I moved over to the controller for this. <sighs> the streets sure are quiet today. Might be good, yeah. says... I've got on my PS4. No, I was really the... It has a crown on its tail. <laughs> Royalty. Uh, if 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 they're going to be annoying, they we can obviously call them a, a royal pain in the ass. I actually forgot if she's annoying or not. Hey, I'm here. Oh, hello. How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. 
How sick headed are you if you still haven't noticed that thing on your head? Right. She needs some water. Oh, no, thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. <laughs> Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on. Get together, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. <laughs> oh, oh, fancy old phone. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. And two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> okay, enjoy your sugar with coffee. There we go. So what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh. <laughs> no. You really are all ears. Uh, what? <laughs> Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... <laughs> Look who's talking. Look, come with me right now. Easy. Wait, no. I'm pretty sure that side was closed. <laughs> you had to go through the freaking wall to get him there. <laughs> uh, it might have openings on two ends. There's nobody for here. easier service. So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... Mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Did the huh? place get raptured or what something? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, sounds like a fake last name. Okay, well. She had to think a moment we there. We went to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world, it's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You hey. know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. So, basically, they've Which been in limbo to... here. Tama, right to here! <laughs> Who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. <laughs> you take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the gun! Huh? Yep. Hey, hey, you hey, can't just uh... leave! Eh... Uh... <laughs> Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? 
<laughs> okay, that's... Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how long can a fox even talk? <laughs> That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> <laughs> now I will see why in a crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. <laughs> You're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. Uh, but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You live for much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you the like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm uh, good with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I. You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, uh, a bit too exaggerated with the movements there, I'd say, on him. <laughs> Me and Rain? That's the correct. Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles. Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole legion of them. You were masters of them. Powerful living illusions known as mirages. In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you, and those are the seven strongest mirages of all. With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world. Oh. Hey. So, we could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. But enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm the going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can then make it do the anything and the everything you command. So let's then try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> okay, I I hope that this stuff isn't going to get too annoying. And hello. Okay, that makes sense. Sort of. trying to do so make the sure you use them wisely okay let's see it, it is all very well animated but that, that is supposed that is what you can expect from square enix yeah <laughs> and she it also get too annoying at least voice tune wise though she doesn't do the d all the time but it it does sometimes get much okay so I'm, what I'm getting so far is it is basically uh, Pokemon but Final Fantasy. <laughs> You're correct. Characters take turns based on agility. The faster a character is, the sooner they get to act. See that long thin bar? Each face represents a different character. When a character's icon reaches the top of the bar, they can select the action to perform. Okay, so either it's turn-based or it works like uh, in some of the older Final Fantasies where they had a speed bar filling up before they could take an action. With uh, to switch Let's see around that. That's uh, B. Setting shortcuts to abilities. The actions you, know, you can take in battle are called abilities. Abilities are mapped to those, even though I'm using the controller. So it's probably a. It's probably the face buttons. The target is chosen for you automatically, so you can speed through combat easily and uh, simply and easily with these shortcuts. Um, I haven't played the Final Fantasy remake. But I might do that eventually. Let's see. Abilities are assigned to keys automatically in the order you learn them, but you can also customize your shortcuts via the game menu. Find a setup that works best for you. All right. Okay, so it do it stops when an action it comes up. I believe in some of the older games, uh, time would still keep going, so you could get attacked mid-action. 
Yeah, do they you could put a setting on if if you wanted to do that or not as well. Okay, why is attack? Uh, certain commands cost AP. Characters recover when their turn comes around or by successfully exploiting enemy weaknesses. More powerful command, more AP. Most Mirages have weaknesses you can exploit for bonus damage <clears throat> and AP. Okay, what is in my throat today? Okay. And now it's their turn. I'd say that that one looks cuter than ours, the Tama. <laughs> yeah, I can say, of all ma annoying mascots, she's, I don't think she's the worst one. I think she's one of those you can learn to tolerate. And yeah, I, I actually liked Jar Jar Binks, uh, so I probably have a bigger annoyance tolerance than most people. I was very new to the Europa being sometimes it was funny, sometimes it was annoying, but I never hated him. So when I heard people hate the Europa Beings, I was very confused. Let's see. In active mode, time keeps slowing regardless of whether or not you input commands. Okay, so that would be like I described earlier. Uh, battles move quickly and without interruption. In wait mode, time stops until you input a command for the character. Okay. To give you a chance to carefully consider each action, you can change your battle mode settings by the config menu. Alright. Uh, classic battle menu. There's another useful tip during battle. Press U to open up... I'm uh, uh, not sure which button that would be. To open a more complete list of commands. To some of you, this classic uh, menu style may look very familiar. <laughs> the, the old school style. <laughs> Uh, there are some commands, example items, that can only be selected from this full menu. You've, if you've chosen active mode, time continues to flow while the menu is open, so be careful. One last thing, you can pick and choose your targets while using the full menu. This comes in handy when you want more control over it. Th this is always nice when you get more cut. Um, uh, what's the word? Uh, more What's customizationable stuff. Okay, it's, it's only an option to do to have it done. You could to have it be. Yeah, harder as well, or easier, simpler and such. All right, all right. I think I've seen enough for one to tussle. <laughs> okay, big stack L. What? Okay, we get some seven <laughs> coins from that. <laughs> oh dear. Past, no, the Mirage could stand up to you, dude. Seriously, dude, but seriously, it's <laughs> hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything all the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait, of course, that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So, spliced not only out? did they lose the Mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the Mirages, too. But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely on the affected. What? What other memories? Listen, let me show you something. Hmm. Oh, hello. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay, so like... You're saying whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? 
And in they go. I am curious about all of this, yeah. And Achievement yeah. Gateway to Adventure. The only issue I have is how long it might be. Yeah, yeah it is a Final Fantasy game Chapter after all. Land of the Lilikin. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Final Fantasy games do tend to get very, very long, and it's also a Pokemon-like, so yeah, those also can take very, very long. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this must be Grimoire. Yep. <laughs> what? to make sure you had a nice and a handy way of blending in. Wow, she can do stuff like that? That is awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. Let's see, Lilikin and Liliant. In Grimoire, the smaller people are called Lilikin and the taller people are called uh, Liliant. The twins can switch freely Lilians. between these forms. Yeah, let's see. Giants, it's a giant, Cillian. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's a it's a J instead of a G. A G. Let's see, you and uh, we'll have to figure out what U is. Now you're free to strut around at either size. You will start combat in your current form, so it's never a bad idea to have stacks set up for both situations. Stacks. Hmm. Nope. Yep. The tips you see in these panels are never out of touch. You can view them again by selecting the tip jar. <laughs> okay, that's a pun worthy of me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> in fact, you might even notice uh, our cross has slipped a few extra tidbits in there that don't appear during the course of the game. So remember to check the tip, the, the tip jar every now and then. <laughs> I uh, guess we should head straight down this path. It's the only direction we can go. Think you can manage to not get lost? You know, just this once. What? Okay. I'm not gonna get lost. Yet. Okay, we can swap between them with the shoulder buttons. Let's actually. Uh, there's the map. Uh, wait, uh, how long? How much time do we have remaining? Uh, seven and a half minutes. Or do you want to call it early? Uh, I just was curious. I thought we had like two. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, of course, oh, Chocobo. Hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chip. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. <laughs> uh, Chocobo. Cho <laughs> if there is one thing that is in any uh, Final Fantasy, it's Chocobos. Yeah. No, I don't look at Chocobos the same way. Uh, says I learned about terror birds. <laughs> but there's a reason they're also useful for combat, and they have their f uh, they have a few games of their own. Queen. So what now? First, you're the going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the choco chips prismarium. Every time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa. Does it even have pictures? You're the betcha. <laughs> and then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the choco chip. Then to use your prism. Okay, so that's uh, ba basically Pokeballs. Uh, why doesn't Anacros just fork over a whole lot of them right now? Come on, what's the fun in, what's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be able to befriend almost every Morat you meet, eventually. But be sure to take the time to get to know the friends you have before looking for new ones. Okay. Uh, once a prism holds a Mirage, it's known as a Prismarium. A Mirage's Prismarium allows you to use the Mirage in battle. If you look closely at a Prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. <laughs> I yeah, like that they're going with the humor for this. Mm. Yeah, they have a lot of humor. Just don't shake it. 
Uh, Mirage data and Libra ability. The window will open containing info on the Mirages you're facing. With the Libra ability, you can even see more detailed information. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, elements and status, uh, uh, basic stuff. Uh, one is weak against another, but strong against a different one. Uh, to status ailments, positive and negative changes, usually triggered by abilities. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Let's see. 148 health. It's a small one. We have it imprisoned. Uh, imprisoned. <laughs> Any before? Uh, use physical weak attacks. Against, weak against ice, and I think the last one there is darkness. Probably, yeah. And requires a choco chick prism. Okay, are, are they going to be specific to beasts? Oh well. Let's deal a bit of damage. Okay. Okay. You might have uh, to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Okay. So it's not a case of weakening them and, well, having to hope to all hell that you will actually catch them by throwing enough Pokeballs at them to, well, fill the Mariana Trench. Okay, th th this could get very useful or very nice. Okay. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Sometimes you'll need to create a prism tunity by a big heavy club. Uh, all you need, blah, 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 but the brute force approach doesn't always work. Try putting the club down and thinking outside the box. Prism tunity requires uh, means vary from morons to morons, but Libra can often provide you a good hint. Okay. So. Now, which button isn't going to be? Nope, oh, but first, <laughs> the little baby is going to be able to attack us instead. Okay, uh... To be certain, I just pushed on the keyboard there. There we go. Hey, the look! You did it! Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! Predictable. I'm pretty sure that the whole V thing was probably meant to be some sort of accent in the original Japanese version of this. Yeah, do... Yeah, if it's always supposed to be an accent, do they use it a little bit weird? Yeah. Let's see. Transfigurations? Okay, so we can evolve... I'm guessing that is similar to evolution. All right. Oh yeah, they can become bigger. A little chocobo that loves to waddle around. These feathery friends love to headbutt things. This is fine because a chocobo's eggshell never cracks twice. Okay. Even oh, look through some things. Growth rates. Okay, so what it is good at. So these guys are very fast, very good. You know, are average on strength uh, and magic and defense, but less so on magic, defense, and HP. Okay. I guess you can name them. <laughs> okay. Cool. I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch. I'll just show you. These are going to be these stacks, huh? Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? <laughs> when you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strengthen oh. the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super <laughs> robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't then make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. That does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. 
Okay. Situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. <laughs> this looks even stupider like that. Uh, let's see. When you stack with Mirage, just the stats, so there's AP, of all the stat members are combined. Your abilities may also transform. Stacking with the right buddy can give you access to new and powerful skills and magic. You're always more powerful in a stack than you are fighting apart. And that's the timer going off, so we'll stop after this. But there is one downside. Weaknesses are also shared among the whole stack, which can get you into trouble. Okay, that, that is a good counter. Uh, so you'd have to, yeah, you'd have to stack up with uh, <clears throat> characters that either have the same weaknesses, so you don't get more vulnerable to different types of attacks. Uh, da, da, da. Use the stack setup screen in the game menu to choose which mirages will fight alongside you, or is it on top of you? You should set up stacks for both your forms, uh, Lilikin and Lian, your giant. Uh, that way, you're ready for battle, no matter what size you're using to explore. The stack can be up to three members high. Okay, so it's no, uh, <laughs> it's no Team Fortress 2 hat stacking. There's one simple rule: smaller goes on top of bigger. Try it out, and you'll get the hang of it in no time. All right. Nope. Uh, get wise about mirage sizes. Uh, land, rain, and the mirages are assigned sizes: small, medium, large. In your stack, L goes on the bottom, M goes in the middle, and S goes on the top. Easy, right? In rain and land are L-sized giants. Mirages will always stack above them. But when the twins are M-sized Lilikin, things get a bit more crazy. Suddenly, they can ride on top of L-sized mirages and put S-sized mirages on top of their heads at the same time. Okay. How would that affect things like they are with the... the By the way, hmm. you two can be switched between giant size and Lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in Lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it up in no time. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely curious about, about this. The heck? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, graphics and things cannot be adjusted. Yeah, okay. And probably also what is being shown on the with the controls and such. So let's World of take... Final Fantasy. Okay. <laughs> Someone sounded practically bored there. Uh let's see. Controller type. There, that's a lot more <laughs> accurate. Even though we're just going to quit here. So yeah, we'll have to check out how long this could take, because like we said, it's Final Fantasy. It's going to take for freaking ever, if, if possible. <laughs> yeah, like, we could... Uh, grinding off-screen is an option, but... Yeah, it, it, it can kill the mood for our game. Hmm. Okay, so... A bit of a more hectic uh, stream this time. Finally, we stayed mostly within two hours, not going to two and a half, two or even near three hours. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, let's see. Whispering Willows? I'm I'm definitely interested. Same. Uh, Wing Commander. I hear that the story of the Wing Commander series is good, but there's the problem with that. Well, I'm, I suck in... <laughs> I, I suck at space flight games like that, or space combat games like that. Uh, and, well, we'd have to get it to work with the computer somehow, because, yeah, we all saw what, how, <laughs> how, yeah, yeah, I don't even need to speak for her. Uh, Witcher adventure game, I was, I was expecting some sort of, yeah, side story with that, but it's basically our mellow with the, mid, the Witcher. So that, yeah. that's a bit disappointing, but it uh, could have been much worse. I, I'll probably try it out on my own every now and then, see if that's fun. Uh, Wolf Among Us? It Definitely I'll play that on my own, and there is a good... I'd say we could try to stream it, but... Mm. Yeah. yeah. But we could do test streaming, but... What? 
Sundays so, so is basically where we do sort of a test stream in a way. Yeah, it could also be. It. The question is more of if it will really fit with how we do things because we do. Uh, yeah, we do stream to also commentate. It's not just uh, watching two dudes watch a, uh, a game be played. Yeah, yeah. like mm. it, it, you can commentate on it, just not as easily. And yeah, World of Final Fantasy. I'm looking up. I'm looking it up on how long to beat not come at the moment, and always it asks or almost demands for, to have its freaking cookies accepted, which I always say, go fuck yourself. So, let's see. World of Final. That should be enough to find it. World of Final Fantasy. 35 and a half hours. Okay. It, it is long, but we have we have done pretty long games uh, with uh, yeah, Symphony of... No, not Symphony of the Night. <laughs> I don't think yeah. that gave us even that long compared to that one. Yeah, it was still some 10... Yeah, uh, I believe we went into the double digits with it. Yeah, of course, yeah, it was also blind, so that adds to it as well. Yeah, I think we're like 12 episodes or so, but 35 hours, and with our luck, it probably could be longer. It'd probably be mm. like 20 streams or more. Hmm. Yeah, it, you know, I'd still say a, a good maybe. Yeah, a maybe. Do I don't know if they're counting the the all the levels you need to do grinding or not. Hmm. And yeah, we could do that off screen, not too much, but yeah. And also, the Wolf Among Us, uh, yeah, that is set at nine and a half hours, so that is definitely within uh, well, a, a good amount of time. It's just if the style of the game will really fit uh, with our style. Yeah, hmm. nine hours, that, that is doable. Well, that's kind of like um, five streams or well, less. Uh, we, we could probably get it's five episodes. Uh, should be, let me double check here again. Yeah, five episodes. So we could probably do one episode per stream. With luck. <clears throat> but yeah, we, we can discuss that further. But for now, uh, yeah, a, a good match again. Uh, well, mostly we had three good ones and two uh, less so. But it, at least we got through that pretty quickly. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so yeah <clears throat> uh tuesdays will be continuing with dark Souls genesis hopefully with a lot less annoyance now that the, there's no caffeine involved and we've learned about the stupid gem system by pure chance again i let me got to know it as early as possible for imagine if we got to learn that near at the end yeah that that should have been that should have been pointed out by the game a lot more obviously. Yeah, <laughs> no, I feel like we, we should understood that for it did look like a gemstone, which I thought was 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 weird for alright, why do they look like that? Why do they look like gemstones? Like it felt a bit weird. Maybe. But yeah, we know it now, so things should get a lot easier with that. And yeah. Yeah, um, Next Saturday, we'll be continuing with the Monkey Island series with Escape from Monkey Island. And yeah, I'll have to see what <laughs> I'll have to see what four games plus backup I'll need to test out for next week's showcase Sunday. Oh dear. <laughs> but until then, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you for chatting up uh, showing up and chatting a bit uh, new Gundam gaming. Uh, he streams as well, so if you might be interested, you could go give him a look. And as always, thank you, Dvikir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, <laughs> not much else to add. So yeah, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks. <laughs>